government expenditure uh, has a very definite correlation with uh, uh, with with uh, uh, a low value job creation uh, uh, because government expenditure usually doesn't go into high tech areas or doesn't go into you know innovation uh, those kind of industries government expenditure largely goes into creation of public assets uh, public assets like roads bridges ports airports uh, and these public assets are usually very highly construction driven. The construction element of these uh, public assets is a very large component. And when you come to construction, that's about the most labor intensive uh, businesses or industries uh, in, in the country. Uh, and by virtue of the fact that it's labor intensive, it creates uh, many more low paying jobs, which is what which is what India needs to do. We need to create many more what I've always called the, the minute we start creating that 30,000 rupee job, if we can create millions and millions and millions of the 30,000 rupee job, uh, you know, that is when you will find uh, that the uh, growth momentum will, will really pick up uh, uh, in, the, in the economy. So there is a definite and a direct correlation. Now, uh, obviously, um, uh, one is job creation directly through the public assets. Then remember, again, since the public assets are largely construction driven, Remember, they have a, a slap on effect because uh, you need cement, you need steel, you need coal, you need tar, you need uh, road rollers, you need a lot of movement transportation across railway wagons of materials all over the country. And all of those have spin on effects on jobs, uh, you know, because steel workers and coal workers, everyone starts getting employment and then uh, I'm going into a little, uh, you know, rudimentary economics, but people who are freshly employed get new incomes, they get new incomes, they spend, they spend, money goes back into the economy. It's a multiplier. It's a multiplier which comes into, uh, into play. So, uh, yes, uh, definitely uh, a high amount of capex uh, by the government, especially, especially uh, in, in, an, uh, in, a, in an era where private capital expenditure has yet to pick up. And I, that is the weak spot of the economy. That's the blind spot of the economy. Both private elements of the economy, private capital expenditure and private consumption expenditure, both have been weak in India. And that's what's led to uh, a, a, a relatively weak economic growth uh, that we've seen in our country over the last four or five years. So therefore, the government has to come in and uh, plug that hole. Uh, that's a collateral benefit. This government anyway does believe in infrastructure creation, but collateral benefit is that this can also lead to uh, uh, incentivizing the private sector to start investing. But that hasn't happened. That hasn't happened for several years now. And that's a weak spot in our economy. But all said and done, a higher government expenditure on capital formation is a is an unquestioning positive. Remember, uh, you're saying your, your fiscal deficit is 5.9%. And then 4.5% of the GDP is your effective capital formation. Now, that means that you are actually borrowing extra. 5.9% you're borrowing beyond your means. But the good part is 4.5% of that 5.9% is going into capital expenditure. So the quality of the government expenditure uh, has also improved. So it's a positive. Uh, but of course, you know, we all know that governments are notoriously bad spenders. Uh, you know, there are... Uh, there are allegations of uh, cronyism, of uh, contracts not being given correctly, uh, of the bidding process getting rigged. There are all those allegations. So the challenge when you when you increase government expenditure so much is, uh, is the 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 the, uh, the concurrent challenge is to ensure that cronyism uh, is something that you control uh, and you and you have transparent processes and you have good monitoring systems that the expenditure is actually happening in an efficient and a fair and a transparent manner.